Hi everyone, I'm Julie and welcome to Big Sky Beauty. Today on Sunday Side by Side, I am going to co be comparing my two most used heat protectant sprays. Okay, now the first one obviously is L'Oreal Color Vibrancy. Um, this is the Dual Protect Spray and the other one is the Tresemme Thermal Creations. Now, both of these are very similar and let me tell you, I spent like half a day going through all of the ingredients on these to see if, you know, there was something in it that maybe was so much different than the other. Now, as far as the mist goes, they're both very fine mists, but this one comes out kind of small here and then it sprays out out here, whereas this one comes out in a very fine generalized mist everywhere. Do you see the, I'm hoping you can tell the difference, this one shoots out like this and it's kind of narrow here, whereas this one just goes everywhere. So if you're if you're trying for a localized area, which, you know, why would you be doing that, right? Then this one's not going to be real good for you, or this one isn't going to be real good for you because it just goes everywhere. But I like them both. Now, as far as the protectant level, they both protect up to 450 degrees. So, you know, really, if you're frying your hair anything above that, there's really not a whole lot that's going to help you. Now, all of you know that I have thinning problems, so I do blow dry my hair every day just to give it volume, you know, so I have went through a lot of different heat protectants, and it comes down to these two here. Now, when I have just got done coloring my hair, or, um, you know, if I've got a fresh color in, and you know how much that costs, if, unless you're doing it yourself, and even that's expensive, you know, when you got long hair, you got to buy two or three boxes, but... I generally get mine done because grays turn pink <laughs> when I try to color it the auburn that I am. So I, when I first get my hair colored, I will use this for the first month or two until it starts to fade out and my grays start coming through anyways. And then I will switch to this. So I actually use both of these products. However, this one has UV filters in it and this one does not. Okay, this one I have not found anything, and I've went over the bottle, and I even went on the Trace my website, and this one has no UV protection whatsoever in it. However, this one does. This also has antioxidants in it. This one doesn't. It just has some, you know, it just protects your hair from, um, you know, the heat. But this one's got quite a bit more goodies in it than this one does. Now, I wrote a few things down here. Um, this one has... Isodonacane, yeah, isodonacane in it. And the reason why I mention that, this one does not have isodonacane, this one does. The reason why I mention that is because my mother has a sister that is fatally allergic to isodonacane, which is um, a, a chemical compound that they use in uh, perfumes, solvents, um, emollients, and for whatever reason, my aunt had, has a horrible, horrible reaction to it. And her doctor told her that it's not as uncommon as one might think. And so I thought I would mention that because it does have isodonacane in it. This one does not, however. But they both have citronellol, citronellol in it. And we all know what citronella is. Very, very similar. Um, it is a mix of isomeric alcohols is what the citronellol is. So if you've got like a strong aversion to wearing out, to using any kind of alcohols in your hair, then, you know, you're pretty much SOL because a lot of these products have alcohol in them. But, um... You know, isomeric alcohols are different than, you know, like the rubbing alcohol and the isopropyl alcohol. Um, you know, but they do have the citronella um, compound in them. Anyways, so the Tresemme comes in, um, I don't know, two, you can get these in two different, uh, two different kinds. And one is like a platinum strength, and it's a black bottle with a blue... Um, blue cap and stuff, and the other t other one is a keratin one, and it's the exact same as this one. Actually, I've never tried the other two in this line, but the keratin one, I did look in on the bottles at Walmart, and they look like the exactly same, except one has keratin, which is a good thing, and they cost the same too, so, you know, the next time that I repurchase this, I will probably repurchase the keratin one, just because it's always good to add a little bit more keratin in your hair. Um, these, I think we've all seen these. I have a few of these. They, um, the L'Oreal comes in a couple different lines that match their, um, that match their hair care lines, you know, and they've got one that's got arginine in it that strength, 
strengthens the structure of your hair, which, yes, I did use that in my quest to keep my hair from falling out. It didn't do me any much good, so just for the record, <laughs> I didn't notice much difference, so I, I quit using it. Um, these are both very, very similar. This one has citric acid in it, and this one has lactic acid in it. Now, the difference between those is... Now, lactic acid is used in the cosmetic industry mainly to adjust um, acidity levels in products. And um, what was that other one? Um, disinfectant. And as a disinfectant. There was another thing, too, that um, I read about, but it was something that you guys wouldn't be interested in anyways. And so um, lactic acid is essentially just a, um, it's, it's kind of like a disinfectant when it's used in a... Um, in a cosmetic and it, it helps to balance out all of the um, you know acidic levels in the in the compound whereas citric acid and many of you probably know this or may know this is one of the main is a, is a huge component in chemical pills it helps it peels it helps balance out the pH levels in um, you know the product that you're using so as far as the acids, the two lactic and the citric acids, and I mention these because um, they have two very specific functions. And, you know, as far as spraying something on my hair that's going to balance things out a little bit better with everything else that I'm putting on my hair, this one is the better choice with the citric acid. Whereas, you know, the lactic is going to do kind of the same thing, but the citric is going to be a little bit better for your hair. So, and of course, the citric acid in this is also uh, one of the key ingredients in is what makes it be your um, daily color, vibrancy, anti-dull, anti-damage. You know, it helps your hair keep its pH balance after being dyed and, you know, stuff like that. So, it, this one has very specific um, goodies to it that are much more, you know, productive to your hair when you use it. Whereas this one is just a basic... A basic thermal spray. This one has antioxidants in it, um, citric acid, uh, UV protection. You're paying a dollar more for three ounces less. So it's it's you know per on this on the scale, it's quite a bit more expensive. You know, I mean, I don't think either one of them are really expensive, but in comparison, this one's quite a bit more expensive. But you get what you pay for. This one works really good. It does. They both work fantastic. Um, I prefer this one after I've just got done coloring or if I've had anything done, you know, if I've done anything to my hair. Now, if you if you curl your hair every single day, um, you know, or if you do a lot of um, stuff to your hair every day or, um, uh, you know, just... If you if you abuse your hair a lot, <laughs> then this would probably be the way to go. Um, if you like to let it dry naturally, or 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 rather, if you wear it more naturally, more often than not, then you could totally get away with this. And you younger girls that just kind of like to go carefree and just like a good blowout, you you don't need you know the complexness of the L'Oreal um, heat protectant. This one will do you just fine. So that is my side by side. Um, you know, not a whole lot of, not a whole lot of goodies or not a whole lot of um, info that you couldn't probably find out for yourself. But as far as us older gals are going, where we have to be very careful with what we have left on our heads, um, this one I would definitely say would be the way to go. Now, unless you are one of those gals that just blow dry your hair and that's it, that's all you do, then you could get away with that. But if you do color or, you know, curl or if you do any kind of treatments to your hair, I would definitely go with the L'Oreal. It's a better product, and you're going to get a much better, um, you know, result in the long run with it. So that is my side-by-side, -side, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I gave you a little bit of information without being too scatterbrained. Um, it is Saturday evening. We just got home from our spring fling, fling function, and I found out that we've got to make a deadhead run down to um, Wyoming tomorrow to pick up my dad's gun from the gunsmith friend of mine that we left it with. And I, we're going down tomorrow morning and not coming back until Sunday night. And so I had to pile up a bunch of videos in today. And after going to this event, which was a blast, um, I just... I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. So I'm sorry if I'm scatterbrained, but in the end, this one's going to be better. It's also very more, very much more expensive than this one. 
Like I said, neither one of them are going to break the bank, but this one is considerably more expensive per ounce that you're getting. So that is it. I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Um, I think tonight might be the last episode of The Walking Dead until October. <laughs> Gosh, I hope not. I hope there's at least one more. I get lost. I don't know what to do with myself on Sunday nights. It's a huge event around here, you know. I make dinner or we grill and everybody, all the girls come over and we pile around the TV and and my grandson even watches it. My four-year-old grandson. I wouldn't let him watch it at first, of course, but but then, you know, we're all out there. It's a, it's a family ordeal. And so what I did was I took him to the computer and I made him, and I didn't even have to make him, he enjoyed it. But I sat him down and took him onto YouTube and showed him all of the videos that I could find on, um, uh, you know, the making of The Walking Dead. How they make the zombies, how they make the, the violence, you know, the all the violence that you see on The Walking Dead, how they make all that, to show them that it's all makeup and play and and that, you know, you don't really do these things to people in real life, that's mean, and, you know, that kind of stuff. So now, he just, I mean, it's nothing. He likes watching it, and he knows all the characters, and I just think it's neater neck. And really, it was, uh, I, I didn't really have a choice, you know, find a babysitter for him to take him out of the house for an hour a week. I mean... And, you know, it was getting to where, what are we going to do with Bug? And so I just sat him down at the computer and showed him the behind-the-scenes look of how the movie is created so that he, one, was not scared, two, knows that it's all fake and pretend and that people don't really do that in real life, you know? So, yeah, anyways, um, this Sunday might be the last one, and it breaks my heart because I love that show. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in tomorrow's DIY.